Good evening, good evening, good evening, beautiful people. Hope everybody is doing well, whatever time of the day you're watching this. How to tell if your man is on the down low in 2020. So I did this video last week about um, this lady who went into a house, discovered these two guys having sex. And even though they weren't in a relationship, a lot of the comments that the ladies made and guys made, uh, or actually this lady actually made was talking about down low, down low guys, down low guys, and guys on the down low. So a lady asked me, hey, could you do a video talking about how to tell if guys are on a down low? I'm not necessarily expert on that, but hey, you know what? I'll give him my best shot. But before we get started, let me just say this. Look at here. You like what you like. You love who you love. Whatever your sexual orientation is, live in your truth and live your best life. Now, we got that out the way. So let's get into it. I got a list of eight things, eight clues, eight kind of hints, eight kind of stuff that, that you can look at. And if you see it, you need to say, hmm, my man may be on the down low. It's not complete. It's not exhaustive. If there's something I miss, put it in the comments. Something you agree with, put it in the comments. Something I say you disagree with. Put it in the comments. As long as we're respectful to each other, you can say whatever you want to say. All right. <clears throat> Let's get started on this list. Rolling in at number eight. If it takes your man longer than it takes you to get dressed, your man might be on the DL. For example, y'all getting ready to go out to a concert, going out to the show. You know, you get an outfit. He gets an outfit. That's cool. You get your nails and your toes done. He gets his nails and his toes done. It's kind of shaky right there. You get your face done. You get your eyebrows arched. He gets his eyebrows arched. I'm not talking about trimmed up. We all need to get our eyebrows trimmed up, but he he gets it arched. Come day of the show, time to go to concert. He's in the bathroom for two hours getting ready. Primped and peppered and prepared. He's in the bathroom getting ready, getting dressed. It takes him longer to get ready and get dressed than it takes you. I'm just saying. Your man might be on the down low. Number seven. Follow the eyes. Ladies, the eyes never lie. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Follow the eyes. The eyes never lie. So normally, ladies, when y'all see you walking with your man and y'all see a lady that is you know, lady that looks good. And so you check out your man to see if he's looking at her. And your man, you know, we, we as men, we've learned, we ain't going to turn around and say, damn, we're not doing one of those things. We, we're going to be calm and cool and collective and just kind of keep our heads straight. But our eyes, our eyes is focused in on that big booty. And y'all looking at her eyes. I used to tell the women, I was, well, don't get upset because I'm looking at a woman. You need to get upset if my eyes are looking at that young boy that just walked by. So follow the eyes. So next time, ladies, not when you see a nice looking lady, but next time y'all see a, a, a pretty boy, a nice looking guy, look at your man's eyes. 
Look in his eyes. Look in his eyes and see where his eyes are looking. And you you notice as that young boy is walking in front of y'all, across y'all, if y'all notice your man's eyes doing one of these numbers, The eyes never lie. What is it? Eyes are a window to your soul. Follow the eyes. If his eyes are fixed on another guy, on a guy, he might be on the down low. Number six on my list. Male friends, cousins, boys, partners. If you notice your man is spending all his time, he's meeting up with his alleged cousin, with his boy at the gym at all times of the night. They texting each other. Oh, that's my boy. He's going through something. Oh, that's my homeboy. He needs me. You know that your man is spending a whole lot of time with this male friend? I'm just saying. He might be on the down low. Number five. If your man is extremely homophobic, I mean, whenever he sees a gay guy, he's just going off, just spending all his time. Oh, how disgusting. Oh, that's terrible. Just going out of his way to make comments about uh, a homosexual guy, a, a, a feminine acting guy, a couple of guys holding hands, walking down the street. If he's going out of his way, talk about a waiter, just going out of his way with extreme hatred towards gay people, it might be a front for how he really feels. What's inside of him that he cannot deal with. And if that is the case, your man might be on the down low. And just so that we're clear, when I say down low, I'm talking about a man who's married or in a relationship with a lady, but he is secretly uh, a homosexual. He is secretly enjoying the sexual company of a male. That's what I mean by being on the down low. Like I said in the beginning, you like what you like, you love who you love. Whatever your sexual orientation, live your, in your truth and live your best life. But on the down low, you're kind of hiding. So that's the definition of down low that I'm using. So number five, if your man is extremely homophobic, he might be on the down low. Number four. If your man is very mysterious, very secretive, y'all been dating for years and, and, and at a certain time of the day or every, every, every year he just disappears for a week or he disappears for a couple of days. There's that, there's that unknown secretive side of him, and you just don't know what's going on. He won't open up, let you in. Maybe the male, the male's not coming to the house. Maybe the male goes to the office or to his P.O. box. It's, it's, it's just something, there's a piece just missing. And your man is very secretive. Well, that secret might be he's on the down low. So you may want to have concern that if your man is extremely mysterious and secretive and y'all been together, he might be on the down low. Number three, 
apps and websites. Apps and websites. There's some apps that you need to be familiar with. There's an app called Jack, J-A-C-K-D. There's an app called Grinder, And those apps are designed for men to hook up and have sex with other men. So you need to know what those apps look like and what they sound like. Y'all sitting in the living room and this phone goes off and you hear the sound. That's the notification for, for Grinder. Honey, what's that? Well, I don't know this. It's just my phone. That sound right there. Ladies, become familiar with that sound. If your man's phone is making this sound here, he's on the gay hookup app. There's another one. Like I said, either Jack or Grinder. That first one was, I think, let's get Grinder. The second one, listen to this here. If you hear this. Very distinctive sound. That's for the other app, Grinder. So if your man's phone is making those noises, he might be on the down low. But not only apps, websites, most people clear their browser out in this day and age, but you know, we all slip sometimes. You get on your computer, get on his computer, and in the browser, you go to the porn hub or porn sites, and he's in the gay section watching two men. It's not conclusive that he's on the download, but if you see that, your man may be on the down low. We are to number three, apps and websites. Any questions at this point in time? If so, put them in the comments. Number two. <clears throat> this is a good one, y'all. Sexual positions. So if you're in the bedroom, and you notice your man is in love with your backside, but nothing to do with your front side when y'all are in the bed. You notice that your man wants to toss your salad, poke your salad, marinate your salad on the backside. But he don't want to have nothing to do with the front side. You know, all this good stuff y'all ladies got going on in the front side. He don't want nothing to do with that. Oh. But everything on the back side? Sexual positions in the bedroom. I'm just saying. If he only wants to hit it from the back, Your man may be on the down low. Number one. Number one position, number one on my list of things to look for to see if your man is on the down low. The number one thing to look for, ladies and gentlemen, Woman's intuition. That woman's intuition, that, that little thing that goes off in your mind, that, that little, little thing that goes off in your head that God gave all of you women. Now, we as guys, we may deny, we may say, ah, 
whatever. But y'all know what you know when you know what you know. Believe it. That, that intuition is something else. It's powerful. I'll never admit to it. Like, how did you know that? How did you? Something just told me. Believe what you see when you see it. Denial is not only a river that runs in Egypt. There's a lot of denial going on here and now. If you think, if you feel, if you believe, and the facts add up, go with your gut, go with your woman's intuition. Your man may, probably is, on the down low. God gave y'all women, women intuition, and it really does work. Don't ignore it. Don't deny it. Be real with yourself. The number one thing to look for, the number one thing that you need to keep in your mind as far as your man being on the down low is what is your intuition telling you? So there it is, y'all. There's the list. Number one, your intuition. Number two, sexual positions. Man wants it from the back, not to the front. Might be on the down low. Number three, apps and websites. Apps and websites. If you hear that sound, you hear that sound right there. Those are gay apps. Your man might be on the down low. I ain't no mic to it. He is on the down low. Mysterious and very secretive. It seems like a piece missing. Your man might be on the down low. Number five, your dude is extremely homophobic. Might be hiding something, compensating for it. So every time he sees a gay person, He's just trashing them. Number six, watch out for those male friends. Your man spending more time with his male friend than he's spending with you. Might be on the down low. Number seven, follow the eyes, baby. Follow them eyes. The eyes never lie. Or do this. <laughs> Do this. I got tricked one time. I was dragged to the mall. I hate going to the mall, right? But I was dragged to the mall. I was like, oh, come on, go to the mall. Yeah. So I went to the mall. And when she was in the store, I'm just sitting on the bench, just enjoying myself, just watching all these people walk by, inappropriately dressed. You know, just a beautiful thing. You know, I'm just watching the people, you know. But, of course, my eyes are focusing more on the inappropriately dressed young ladies, you know, so I'm just having a good old time, you know, I'm thinking nobody's watching. So she's in the store looking at me through the glass doing like, this. <laughs> Hey, you may want to do a little test. Do that with your man. See what's get, see what's catching his eye. See what he's looking at. So anyway, follow the eyes. The eyes never lie. And also last but not least, if he takes longer to get dressed than what you take to get dressed, if he spend more time on the outfits than you spend on your outfits, he spend more time doing his hair than you spend doing your hair. He got to get his nails and his toes and his eyebrows arched. I'm just saying, it's not, it's not, it doesn't mean that a person is, but it does mean you may want to be concerned and look out for other signs to see if that brother is on the down low. Y'all go somewhere, y'all walk, he said, hey, baby, let's take a picture. I'm going to take a picture. You get ready to take a picture. He said, no, nah, I need you to take a picture of me. <laughs> that brother might be on the down low. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. Hopefully this is helpful to somebody. 
Like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, support the channel if you find my content useful. Skywalker 2020, dollar sign Skywalker 2020. Send me a dollar. Send me 50 cents. Send me 25 cents. Help support the cause. Love yourself. Be nice to other people. Live, laugh, and love. Have a good night. Have a good day. Might see you around the way. Hold on, my son, I'll tell you a funny story. It's funny to me. So my son, he's a jerk. I love him. He's my jerk. He's in law school, but he's a jerk. He's going to make a great lawyer because he's a complete, you know what? He's going to make a great lawyer. It's like first year of law school. So I'm like, hey, man, I'm, I'm doing a story about down low men, how to tell if your man is down low, you know? And uh, he's like, dad, is there something you need to tell me? <laughs> I was like, no, man, I don't need to tell you nothing. I said, I'm doing a story about the signs to tell if your dude, if your guy is on the down low for the ladies, any suggestions? He said, yeah. If your dad is on YouTube making videos in the beef sector. He might be on the down low. <laughs> oh, man, he's an asshole. But I love him. He's my asshole. Y'all be good, man. Have a good night. Talk to you later.